Glyphosate, or the key ingredient in Roundup, is an incredibly common herbicide, especially with the newly planted second growth forest, and is a common contaminant that runs off into aquatic ecosystems. But what sort of impact does it have on salmon? Surprisingly, these effects haven't been too well studied, and despite the unknowns, the chemical is still broadly used today. But we do know a few things, like glyphosate has less of a noticeable direct effect on mature fish, while young fish and developing alevins seem to be the most susceptible as they spend prolonged amounts of time rearing in the fresh water. Now, these effects can include general stress, oxidative stress, or lacking the ability to detoxify the body systems and repair, neurological transmission and reception issues, genotoxicity or mutations, histopathological alterations, energy metabolism changes, and various behavioral effects. Another really important impact to consider is the fact that Glyphosate radically changes the surrounding riparian environment by killing many broadleaf plants and trees that provide crucial shade to these waters during the hot months, provide leaf litter and debris to the stream channel, and to the host for many different insects on which juvenile salmon rely as food during their early lives. So with salmon populations already facing such difficult times, additional stresses caused by these contaminants surely don't help the next generation of fish.